So <clears throat> let's continue with the same example we looked at earlier in the previous video, y dash equals x, y, y of zero equals one. Now here, uh, I've just written down again for you uh, what we did in the previous video, uh, previous video. And basically uh, what, what you can see is that we used a h equals 0 0.1 and y n plus one was y n 1.0. These were the values that we calculated and here's the table. Now what I wanna do is I wanna show you uh, if we do the same problem, same exact problem, but instead of h equals 0 0.1, we will change to h equals 0. Point, uh, let's have a look at that. So here now, instead of using, sorry, in, uh, so instead of using 0 0.1, we'll now move to h equals 0 0.05, to just have the, the previous h. Same problem, of course, the formula will change. This will become 0 0.05 xn. Now, as we go through the solution, okay, we end up with, of course, a slightly different table. Um, so I'll just leave the two tables now. You can see both here. So um, here now again, just to reiterate, so we have at, for instance, any value like, like I said in the previous video, suppose you wanted to calculate 0.25. So the, obviously this change of uh, allows us to say that, well, y of 0.25 is this value, for instance. But anyway, that's not my point here. My point is to look at, let's look at how uh, let's look at consider the accuracy uh, of these two uh, values of h. Now, if you see here, this is the actual solution. This is the exact solution. This is differential equation is solvable quite easily. It's separable equation. So we can actually get the exact solution. It's y equals ex squared over two. So the solution at 0.4, y of 0 0.4 is this, which you see here, uh, there it is, 1.083, which is at y, uh, 0.4. That's the, act, uh, sorry, that's the exact solution, pardon me. So that's the exact solution. Now, if we define the error at the point xn as y of xn minus y of n, so y of xn would be the, uh, the, uh, the true solution or the exact solution and yn is our uh, approximate value. With h equals 0 0.1, at 0 0.4, we have this 0 0.02218, as you see uh, here, okay? the error is 0 0.00. So what we're doing is remember, the exact value is 1.08, okay? Now, and we're comparing that to this value, 1.061106 and 1.0720. So obviously, this is closer than this one, which we expect, because the because remember the order, this is an order H method, okay? This is an order H method. This is Euler's method, it's order H. So as we reduce h, we expect the error to go down. So therefore, here the error is, in fact, you see here, this is the error for h equals 0 0.1, and the error for um, the other one, okay, is right here, you see is 0 0.011. So it's almost halved, which is what is expected. Because we halved h, our error is, of course, halved as well. So that's a quick uh, a summary of the of our demonstration of how this is an order H method. Now, of course, Euler's method is a primitive, simple, straightforward method. Um, we will now uh, start to look at uh, error in more detail and see how we can use the error, perhaps, to look at higher order methods. So from Taylor's theorem, y at xn plus one. Now keep in mind, yn is our approximate solution. That's what we are calculating using our method. Okay, and y of xn is, here we're talking about exact solution at the value, okay? So y represents the exact solution, yn represents the approximate solution. So y at xn plus one, okay, is equal to from, if we do the Taylor series expansion, it's gonna be y xn, of course, plus, uh, uh, it's going to be h because remember xn plus 1 represents what? xn plus h in fact. So it's uh, it's the, uh, the uh, it's around the point h. So okay so it's a Taylor series of xn plus h is what this is. So anyway so that will be xn plus uh, we'll have h squared over 2 factorial which is just 2 and y double prime of theta where theta is some number between uh, xn uh, the usual between xn, xn, uh, uh, xn and xn plus h. Now, what this means is, uh, what we know from the method we've looked at now is why this becomes basically y xn plus h. Now, y dash of xn exactly, okay, 
for any differential equation is what f of xn and y of xn okay so that's because by definition y dash xn is equal to f of xn y of xn remember this is where we started in fact uh, in the previous videos so that's the exact uh, value of y uh, this y dash here is this okay just hopefully you can follow that so then that means of course we just copy this down and you know just to sort of write it in a different format okay so now let's go let's just just keep that in mind let's go back to now uh, the the error at xn plus one so the error so the error at xn plus one okay uh, is basically we call it en plus one let's call it en plus one and it's equal to y at xn plus one which is the exact solution okay minus yn plus one and remember remember and in, in practical situations we don't actually have yn uh, plus one in fact okay so uh, basically uh, basically uh, this is figurative in other words this is symbolic okay this is what the error is supposed to be right anyway let's proceed now we already have y of xn plus one we just calculated it up here right here so let's substitute that in here so that means that our error becomes in fact so that's the uh, that piece here is just this okay so that's what this is now let's add on what, what else do we have well we have the other piece which is uh, this y n plus 1 and y n plus 1 by definition is going to be so what it's going to be is minus what is y n plus 1 well y n plus 1 by our formula by Euler's is for Euler's method okay uh, is minus y n okay uh, and I'll put it in brackets it's y n plus h f x n y n simply okay easy if I rearrange this equation now if I rearrange this equation, I can write this as, I can rearrange it as this. So what I've done is I've just, um, you know, put these terms close to each other because they're similar terms. These two are similar. And of course, that's the error. Okay. Now, what I want you to notice is the two things that we see here. We see this piece and we see this piece. The error is actually divided into two parts. We can break it up into two parts. So there's the error propagated. So the error um, error pro propagated from xn, which basically is, okay, and we then also have, uh, so that be 1, and then we have, let's call that 1, so that's 1, so error is broken down into two parts. The second part is what we call the local truncation error. So the local, local truncation error, we denote that with something new, we call it t of n plus 1, and that, in this case, of course, is just h over 2 and y double dash of theta, which you see here, of course. You see both these are here. All I'm saying is the error is divided into two parts. We just, we want to divide it into two parts, okay? Look at it so that we can look at it in detail. Now, in a perfect situation, in a perfect situation, yn, uh, yxn would be equal to yn. This would mean, this would mean that uh, if yxn was equal to yn, Okay, then this would imply, this would imply that uh, the error, in fact, y x n plus 1 minus um, y n plus 1, of course, at that point, would just be t n plus 1. So the error would become that, it would, the truncation error. Now, here, in this particular case, uh, t n plus 1 is of order, order h squared. Local truncation error okay is order h squared the global error we know is different because we saw in the, in the previous tables it, it comes out to be order h in fact well it turns out okay it turns out that um, Euler's method in fact is known to be order h but it turns out that there is a bigger idea behind this okay there is an underlying theory and that says so in general, a method is said to be of order p if the global error is of order hp, or if the local truncation error is order hp plus 1. Clearly, the higher 
uh, p is the better. The higher p is, the, the we expect the method to be better. So what I'm trying to say, just, just to summarize, okay, and this is a general result. In general, okay, in general. So is the glo uh, is of order p? Sorry, here it should be if. if the global error is of order hp or it is equivalent to the idea okay if the local truncation or if the local truncation error okay the local truncation error is order hp plus one okay so that is an important result and you can see that the higher the, the higher p is the better the method would be okay we stop here. Thank you.